All right, here's a demonstration video on loading a Bolex H16 camera. One thing to, to get started, you want to make sure your motor is fully wound, and mine is, so I'm not going to do that step. Let's flip the camera over to where the film compartment is. You can open the door, pop it off, and here we can see the insides of the, the Bolex. I cleaned this area out using one of these blowers. Um, the area that's that's most prone to getting dust in it is is here in the um, behind the pressure plate. It actually can open up. It's very small, but you can lift this up and blow some air inside this part to make sure there's no no dust in the the film gate area where the image is formed. You always want to make sure that's closed again and can in place before you actually use the camera. To load, I'm going to, the first step I'm going to do here is load, uh, close the loop formers. There's an upper loop former, lower loop former, and they allow the film to, to load cleanly through the uh, gate area. So this small lever closes them. I'll, I'll do that one more time. Open, close. Here's some uh, white leader. I'm using this because it's easier for you to see for the demonstration. So it's not film, but just leader. And I've trimmed it. There's a trimming device right here down the lower part of your Bolex trimmer. And uh, you can actually, your, your new film should not need trimmed, but, but there should be this sort of tapered uh, angled cut on the um, film. So new film will have that already, so you don't need to trim it. But since I'm using leader, I trimmed this already. I'm going to place the uh, daylight spool there. The, the film is coming this direction. These, there's an arrow that indicates the direction of the film. You can see this arrow. This, this is your reminder as to which way the film goes through the camera. Film path. So click that in place, make sure it's flush and uh, not lopsided or, or, or unseated. I'm going to gently push my film into this upper um, sprocket gear. And then I need to run the camera while I'm sort of gently pushing it this direction. The trigger is right here in the front, so I'm going to push down. So anyway, my, the film ran into this sprocket wheel through the upper loop former, behind the pressure plate, to the lower loop former, and then this lower sprocket wheel. And now it's ready for being placed on a, a take-up daylight spool. I'm going to run it for just another, give me myself another couple inches of film. There's a uh, slot <coughs> where the fil film would slide into on the daylight spool. Push that down. Make sure both sides are flush. And then before you close the the door, a couple other things to do. Number one, open up the loop formers. These must be open in order uh, to shoot film or else your film will be messed up. I'm going to run it for just another couple inches of film just to make sure things are, are running smoothly. I want to listen for the motor to make sure there's no jams or um, irregular sound pattern and then just sort of make sure that uh, things are running smoothly. So here we go. Things look good. Um, I'm going to say that's, that's good enough and I'm going to then close the door. Make sure it's closed tightly and I'm ready to shoot.